Don't miss a beat, join the notification squad by clicking that bell, you'll get notified every time I upload a video, and be sure to join our Discord to talk and get help with your code. Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Ned, today we are back with another episode. I can't believe we're on episode 6 already, but today we are starting the temp mute command. Um, it's a pretty simple command, it's just going to use some functions and a different package. And while we're speaking of it, let's go ahead and install that package. So just like always, hold shift and right click, um, open PowerShell window here. And once that guy loads up, we can go ahead and do npm install ms, which is going to be used for the time on the temp mute command, and then back, or dash s. And let that install. All right, so once that is installed and we're ready to use it, we can go ahead and start creating our file. So since we are using this spiffy little command handler here, makes our bot main file at least 44 lines long, we can go ahead and create a new file. We're gonna temp mute dot, oh, spell it right, temp mute dot JS. And let's go ahead and grab a couple things. So as always, const discord equals require discord dot js and then we want to get const ns or ms rather and then we're going to require ms so let's go ahead and set up our file real quick module.exports.run equals to async bot message args and then set up an arrow function here Let's go ahead and add module.exports.help equal to name and then temp mute. All right, you guys know how to do that. We taught that in the last episode. So if you don't know what we're doing here, go ahead and watch the last episode. It's going to show you how to use different files or command handler rather. Um, but yeah, so let's go ahead and dive right into it. Um, so the way we want it set up is temp mute and then we want a user and then a time period so like one second or one minute or one hour or one day i don't know if like week or months or years works i haven't tested that out you really don't need it when you have days um but yeah so let's go ahead and start coding so first we're gonna need the person to mute and this is gonna be just like the report command so message dot mentions dot members dot first or we actually can grab that real quick since you don't always have to remember all the code so I'm gonna go copy paste that whoops so this is gonna grab either the first member mentioned or it's gonna grab arg zero so once that is set we need to check if to mute exists return we'll just do message dot reply couldn't find user or we could do no user specify whatever it doesn't really matter so if to mute dot has permission we'll say the permission of managing messages so manage messages return message that reply can't mute them all right so now we need to make sure that the mute rule actually exists um, there's two ways of doing this the easy way and the hard way I'm gonna teach you guys a hard way just because it'll be better to know how to do this rather than just taking the easy route all the time so let mute rule oops if I can type equal message dot guild dot rules dot find name muted now oh if I can type if you wanted to take the easy way out you could do if mute rule does not exist and then just return a message and tell them to recreate the rule and add the permission the override permissions on each channel but the harder way to do it is if mute role doesn't exist, we're gonna create the role and add the override permissions ourselves. So let's do that. So we're gonna do a try and catch. 
and then catch. We'll just set up the catch real quick. E console dot log e dot stack. And then back up here in the try, we're going to create the mute rule. So mute rule equals await message dot guild dot create rule. And then it's nope parentheses and then curly brackets and we're going to give it a couple variables uh, let's give it a name we'll just call it muted make sure it's the same as this guy up here otherwise it's going to keep on trying to create that role muted and then we can have a color uh, we can give it a red color or we can just give it nothing is that the right i think that's one two three four five six all right so and then we want to give it permissions permissions and then we'll just give it empty array. So now that that's done, we can go ahead and add the overwrite. So message.guild.channels.each, or for each rather. And then we'll do it asynchronously. And then channel ID. And using an arrow function, we're going to await channel dot overwrite I know I'm kind of flying through this but I'll kind of explain it when we get there and then mute rule comma curly brackets and then this is where we're gonna add the um, the permissions for each channel so it's going to go through each channel in the guild and via its channel name and ID and it's going to add these permissions send messages false and then add reactions false we'll just add those two you can go through the discord.js.org website and find more permissions that you can add there we're just going to use these as standard just because it's easier so now that the role is created we can go ahead and scroll down a little bit get outside of this try and catch get outside of this if statement um, it is very good to like document start of create role and then like end of create role and then end of module just so you don't get lost in your code. So now we need to get the time to be muted. So mute time equals args dot one or not dot but brackets. And then let's say if mute time doesn't exist, return message dot reply. You didn't specify a time. Oops. And of course you could go ahead and do your embeds or whatever you want to do. I've taught you guys how to do that. So you should know how to do that by now. So as long as everything is good, we can go ahead and add the role. So to add the role, we're just going to do await to mute dot add role and then mute role dot ID. And you can throw that in a try catch. It doesn't really matter. Um, you don't have to. I don't message dot reply. And then we're going to go ahead and do back ticks. And we'll just go ahead and say something like, and we'll put this guy here because we're going to mention them in an object inside of it. That's just how I've taught you guys on previous episodes, so you should know what that is. Um, that's just to mention them and make it clickable. So, to mute.id has been muted for, and we do ms mute time. All right, so now that that's all done, we can go ahead and set up the function, the timeout function. I'm just gonna do function, parentheses, and then we'll do curly bracket, enter. And then inside of the parentheses, we're gonna do comma, ms, mute time. And then this is pretty simple, to mute, dot remove, roll, mute role dot id 
and then message dot channel dot send back ticks because we're going to be using objects inside of this and we'll do this as well just to mention them to mute oops to mute dot id has been unmuted all right so i believe i got this all right um, so basically just a little run through is going to get the user to mute It's going to check if it's a user if not and then it's going to it'll just reply and then it'll check for permissions and then it'll create the mute role and add the overrides for each channel basically it'll just be like if you were to go into a channel and add a role or a person even um, and yeah so let's go ahead and run the bot all right, so I don't know what that was all about. Um, I did rewrite this code. It was just giving me an error. Um, it might have just been a weird glitch or something, but as long as you have this function set up right, you should be all set to go. So let's go ahead. I'm going to restart the bot just to make sure we're good. Everything loads. Let's go ahead and test it out. So temp mute. And we're gonna mute Red Nyan Cat because he's a volunteer for today. And let's just do 10 seconds. All right, so hopefully that's not right. We got a couple errors here. We're gonna overwrite permission. Okay, so he's been unmuted. Um, let me just double check. So let's do temp mute again at Red Nyan Cat. 10 seconds we know that glitch is there does it add the it does add it so let's double check and see okay so that's not setting so let's go ahead overwrite permissions yes yeah that's what I messed up there okay so now that that's done we should be good to go so I had overwrite permission and it's permissions the smallest things like that will mess you up like crazy. So we also need to cast this another time. So let's go ahead and do MS. Whoops. MS. And then we'll add a parenthesis down here. And we should be good to go. Restart the server. Whoops. And go to Discord. And then temp mute at red nine cat for 10 seconds. All right. And he has a roll. And let's go ahead and wait for the 10 seconds to be up. And we should be about there. There we go. So the roll has been removed. We have a working temp mute command. You can use what you've learned in the previous episodes to, say, make an embed and send it to the incidents um, channel and then delete the message that way they don't get tagged or whatever you want to do all right guys that's all i have for you guys today i hope you guys enjoyed thank you for sticking around roughing it through that debugging that we had to do let's just double check no errors we're good your temp command or your temp mute command now works and i'll see you guys next time peace